In this video we'll talk about the binary or base 2 system and how we can convert it to what we're more used to, the decimal or base 10 system. But first let's think about what we have in our decimal system. We have 10 digits, 0 through 9. Computers, however, use electronic signals and they're either off or on. And we abstract this to be a 0 or a 1 and use that to make a binary math system. Each digit in a number, in this case we'll look at a decimal number, represents something different. This is the largest number we can have with four digits in the decimal system, 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Starting at the far right though, that 9 represents just 9. Its place value is 1. It's in the 1's place. The next 9 is the exact same digit, of course, but it doesn't represent 9. It represents 90 because it's in the 10's place. The next digit will represent something similar, but it's 100 more. It's in the 100's place. It's 900. Each digit is 10 more than the one before it. So the final digit we have here is 9,000 in the thousands place. If we add up all of those representations, we get our 9,999, as we would expect, as we're used to working with. Binary works much the same. This is the largest number we could have with four digits in binary. The first digit, just like with the decimal system, represents one, and it's in the ones place. But we don't have a two, a three, a four. All we can have there is either a zero or a one. So the next one doesn't represent 10, it represents two. It's in the twos place. And each one will double the size before it. So the next one represents four. It's in the fours place. And finally, we get to the last one, which is eight in the eights place. We add those all up, and that equals 15 in decimal. We could do this with other numbers, one, zero, one, zero. We have zero in the ones place, two in the twos place, zero in the fours place, eight in the eights place, and those add up to 10, and it makes sense. We have 1, 8, and 1, 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. One last example, 0, 1, 0, 1. We really don't need that leading 0, so we could have just 1, 0, 1. But if we look at that, that equals 5. 1 in the 1's place, 1 in the 4's place, 5. Looking at all four-digit numbers, we have first 0, which is just equal to the 0, of course, 1, the binary conversion, we still have that same one because we get a zero or one in our ones place, but after that things change. In decimal we have two, in binary we need to have two plus zero, which is one zero, then we get to two plus one, so one one equals three in binary, and then we can go ahead and look through all of those down to 15, which is eight plus four plus two plus one, and those are the first 16, including zero, the first 16 binary numbers. Often with binary numbers, we use them in bytes, which are eight digits, and so we'll show them that way. Same exact numbers, I've just added leading zeros to them. So zero is just a bunch of zeros, one is zero, 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 one, and 15 is zero, 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 one, 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 one. Of course, we can continue to add more and go much higher than 15 with those same eight digits. With those eight digits, the highest number we can get in decimal would be 255, which including the zero is 256 different numbers. 